So here we have the Vauxhall Adam on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three-door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors, a 50-50 split folding rear seat and given the size of the car a decent amount of boot space as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car, which are 30,882. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. You won't be able to use the phone controls until such time as you pair the phone up to the car, and that is done on the stereo uh, in the center just here. Hit the phone icon, and then from there, pair your phone by using the code shown. Uh, we won't be doing that now, obviously. When it comes to music, we have the radio, and you'll see we have FM and AM radio both available to us. Uh, when it comes to listening to your own music, press the media button. Nothing is connected or inserted at the moment. We have a CD player, auxiliary input, and this car's got a USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. Uh, we have a city button. Give that a push. The power steering will become a lot lighter for parking, for example. We have deadlocks, so you can lock the car doors from the outside and unlock them from here as well. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed, and then the direction that you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on. So it's on at the minute and it will turn it off again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set just here. That's on when the light shows or off again. We have a heated rear screen. The USB input I mentioned a moment ago, along with a 12 volt charging socket. We then have a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.